Hey guys, and welcome back to Little Busters. So, let's just jump right back in. No, 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 don't aim your suspicions in such an obvious, obviously wrong direction. Then why are those two unmoved by it? No, no, no. I, I'm sorry. She was on the verge of tears. Ah, oh, come on, uh, Kyosuke is just joking, and apparently I can't read right today. <laughs> Kidding? <laughs> well, that happens all the time. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Whoa, he's stubborn like a child. <laughs> well, I... I think those were quite great words. <laughs> See that? <laughs> Told you. Satisfied, he placed his hand on Kengo's shoulder. Seems he recovered his good mood hearing Kengo's words. You really are like a child. <laughs> you all get along so well. She was looking at us with her usual smiling face. <laughs> yep, that's great. I'm so, er, I'm so envious of you. But don't you have a lot of friends, Kamari-san? <sighs> hmm, I don't really know if I have a lot or not, but... I moved around a lot in the past, so I don't have any friends I've been together with since uh, childhood. I see. Then isn't it fine to just remain as you are now and continue making friends from now on? Ah, Hi, see? <laughs> yep, you're right. A big smile spread across her face. Well, this feeling will remain with us forever, so let's get going already. Yep, thanks everyone. Don't worry about it. We were just called out here. Ah, uh, now that you mention it, I suddenly remembered that picture book she mentioned earlier on the roof. Kamari-san, about that picture book. The one we talked about before, a chicken and a chick? It sounded interesting. I'd like to read it. Yep, alright. I'll look for it then. Okay, thanks. Good luck, Kamari-san. See you at school. Later, do your best. See you tomorrow. See you all. She waved goodbye. Aw, oh, she's so adorable. I stole a sidelong side glance behind me and noticed Rin joining with Kamari-san. Seems like she had been embarrassed to be seen talking with Kamari-san, so she hid herself. It appeared to me that Kyosuke too had noticed this, but he pretended that he didn't see anything. Hmm? No, no. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing special. Thanks for your cooperation! <laughs> Looks like she's helping Kamari-san. Kyosuke and I exchanged glances, unable to hold back the urge to smile. Aww. This is really cute, Komari actually. Like, I don't think that happened in the last playthrough of this. So that means that Rin is developing as a person with every uh, route that we complete. Kamari is a good person, Riki. Well, that goes without saying. She's a good girl, that Kamari-san. <laughs> yep. It'd be good if she settled down a bit, though. Well, she's the kind you wouldn't get tired looking at. We continue to walk, talking in this way. It's been a while. What has? The four of us in town walking together? Now that you mention it, that's true. That's Right. Let's go grab something to eat. Cuts! Cutlet! You don't have to say it so forcefully. Yeah. No, obviously pork ramen is fine too. What's obvious 
What's obvious is a mystery to me, but either is fine. Kengo. You can go? I'll have whatever you're having. Hey, aren't you actually messing around instead of training now? Well, I'll make up for it in the evening. We silently reached a consensus. Alright, let's go check out every storefront menu. He began running amok like a kid. Of course, I followed right behind him. Oh, hello. In the afternoon, it was time for independent training. However, no one else showed up on the field other than Kyosuke. What a surprising lack of team spirit. Where's the unity we had earlier? What do we do? I'll train you on my own. You go find someone to train with. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to wander, but I kind of want to look for a partner as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. Any, many, many mo. Yeah. Okay. Boop. Um, I feel more like wandering around right now. Is that okay? So. I see, I won't forbid it. This morning I said that both baseball and battles are important. Okay, permission granted. Alright! You're so psyched about it. Do you like battles that much? Looking around for a strong opponent, we roam around aimlessly. Ah, damn it. Sure, let's accept it. Fair and square embroidered flag. Wow, it actually looks good on you. I'm glad. See you later. Kengo leaves. Ah, damn it. Uh, Masato and Kiyosuke, probably Masato? Yeah. And... Haruka and Kurugaya, Kurugaya. Yep. Damn it! Ugh, oh, we didn't run into anybody I could actually fight. After practice was over, there was still some time left before dinner, and I was getting bit or and I was busy getting my English homework done. Do you use then for comparison? No, it's not a comparative sentence with then. Uh you should or you should use not as as it's a negation. I looked at his answer sheet. Longer than? Something more than something. That's how it originally looked. You should stop writing an exclamation point when you leave blank spaces. But doesn't Rongazan sound cool? Rongazan! Rongazan is undoubtedly a name for an ultimate technique. Whoa, isn't it totally cool? I don't really understand why you use the Chinese reading for the dragon character only, and you're about the only one who would write an ultimate technique name in an English workbook. I can even study kanji at the same time. What a great way to study. Let's write the alphabet. Yeah. Yeah, Kengo's... Or not Kengo. Masato's a dumb. <laughs> it's difficult, as always, doing homework with Masato. But man... Or, but, eh, but I managed... Sorry. I... I kind of tripped up because the word is split. But I managed to finish it somehow. Whoa, you're quick today. I shot a glance at the clock. There was still an hour left before dinner. There's nothing else to do now. Is everyone else coming over? That Kengo seems to be busy with his self-training. Ah, I see. We were chatting about various stuff like this when... <laughs> Kumari! We heard someone's lively voice. That voice. 
There was no doubt it was Kamari. Nondo? What is it? I'll take a look. I stepped out through the door. I was going to my friend's room and got the wrong door. It's not like I was peeking or anything. She was standing in the corridor, apologizing with all her might toward an open door opposite of us. Kamari-san. She'd been taken by surprise, and she bowed her head as she turned toward or turned around. It's only me. <laughs> she looked as though she could burst into tears at any moment. What are you doing? I was planning to go to your room, but... I knocked. But there was no answer, so I decided to open the door and look inside. I realized it was someone else's room once I opened the door, and I had no idea what to do. Ah, it wasn't the most informative explanation ever, but I got the gist of it. If there was no answer, maybe there was nobody inside in the first place. I knocked on the door and peeked inside. The lights were off. Who was I apologizing to? What a careless person. So, what about my room? This here! She held up a plastic bag to me. There was something like a cardboard box inside. What's that? This is to express my thanks for today. Uh, thanks? Yep, they're donuts. I chose them because they came highly recommended. I'm sure they're delicious. That wasn't anything you needed to thank us for. Nope, I was grateful to you, so it is natural to thank you. I'll have some too. There will be lots of happiness for everyone. Besides, to be honest, I received it as a gift. Okay. Well, I guess I should accept it then. Uh, what about Kyosuke-san and Kengo-kun? And there's some for Rin-chan too. I'll call everyone then. It was still before dinner though. But I bet everyone's a little hungry, so they won't turn it down. It didn't take long before everyone was assembled. Kengo had just finished his practice, so he came straight from there. <laughs> Thanks for going out of your way for this. <laughs> everyone, help yourself! She opened the box. There were two of each of three kinds of donuts, totaling six in all. <laughs> It looks delicious. I don't care which I get. You can go ahead and choose. Mm, really? Well, I like them all, so go ahead. Then, Riki, you choose. Mm, then... I like the light strawberry donut, to be honest. I really do. Nom. Then this one. I recommend this one the most. It's called French Strawberry Custard. He. A strawberry on the top, custard inside, and an airy dough together make the best combination. She must really like it as she was explaining everything excitedly and in great detail. Yeah, I made the best choice I possibly could. Thanks to myself having wonderful taste with strawberries being one of my favorite flavors. We prepared some tea and began eating together. Mm -hmm. Delicious! Masato had already finished eating his in one bite. Western pastry isn't bad from time to time. 
Kengo didn't much like sweet things, so he chose a simple donut with no filling. <sighs> Rin chose the one that looked the sweetest of them all, a strawberry donut. Yabe! Mone! No way, all gone! That's because you wolfed it down right away. <laughs> then I should have some too. <laughs> yep, go ahead, please. <laughs> I'll dig in too. She put her hand into the box. Rin-chan, let's split! Ha, Sp split She was taken by surprise. If we do that, we can try two different kinds. She nodded and gave half of her donut to Kamari-san. Here! Similarly, Kamari-san handed half of her donut to Rin. I see, that's a good idea. Riki. Riki, let's split ours too. Uh, sure. Kyosuke and I divided our donuts between ourselves. Kengo, Kengo let's trade. With what? Banana. A rotten black banana. You think I want that? Wow. Ken Kengo. <laughs> After we finished our donuts, Kamari-san returned to the girls' dormitory. Well, we have some more time to kill before dinner. Yeah, that's right. Rin, was it good? It was delicious! I see. Are you satisfied? Very much satisfied. He seemed to be in high spirits. Of course he is. You guys just had delicious donuts. Well, it's nice having Rin on standby outdoors, but... There's nothing for her to do, like always. Let's tell her to go inside, then. She'll probably get to fight Sasasagawa-san uh, Sasasagawa again. Isn't she a good rival? It'll become a worthwhile experience for Rin, who can learn through this kind of competition. Are you hungry? Rin was talking to a cat. I have enough friskies in my pocket. There, look, I have some more here. Here's some for you, too. You! You think you can break me with this? She met her again! Treating me like a farm animal! This is the first time I've been insulted like this! I shall shut that insolent mouth of yours! You! Take care of her! Oh, great. Here we go again, guys. Boop. Okay, we have cut jelly. And we have Fight! Go! Oh, damn it. Damn. No. Come on, no. What are you doing? There we go. Finally. Uh-oh. Nope. No! Come on! Damn! Damn, 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 damn! Come on! Win! Yeah, there we go! Rin is victorious! Yes, she is! You are holding up unexpectedly well! Well then, I shall take you on myself! Okay. Self-centered cat queen. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. No. No, 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 no. Please. Please stop. Okay, good. Catch up a little. No, 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 no. Come on. No, we lost. God damn it. Ugh. We really need to get her stats up. That's about right! Mission failed. Again. Wait, wasn't that different from the original mission? We should treat everything as a mission. I'm sure I'm just getting tricked. And so the night went on.
Okay. Actually, this end this day ended perfectly because I am actually all out of time. Ohayoshoku. Yeah, so I am all out of time for this episode, guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!